Hey guys, it's Dingani and... <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, Toxic Video Gaming is a thing. So before we get into it, you can subscribe to the channel for only $5 a month. No, I'm joking. Subscribing is free, of course. And if you do, well, I'll love you forever. Anyway, if you've ever played an online competitive video game, <coughs> Animal Crossing, you've probably had to deal with online toxicity. And man, that's pretty garbage. Toxic Gaming is not about the game itself, but it's the community. The Animal Crossing com- No, no, it's the competitive gaming community. Toxicity is something in any community you will find, from games to shows to whatever. But I'm not talking about the fandoms of the community, because those can be toxic in their own right. <clears throat> Undertale, I'm still gonna buy you for Switch. I'm talking about the online gaming toxicity. This kind of thing sucks for games themselves, because you can have an amazing game with fun gameplay, cool characters and whatnot, with only a toxic nine-year-old to bring it down and ruin the experience for others. And there's one game that I love that deals with this problem. Overwatch. Now, Overwatch is an amazingly fun game. It's a simple 6v6 control the point type of deal, but what makes this game shine is the characters. Each character is entirely different with their own style of gameplay and their own moveset. Tracer is super speedy and energetic. Genji is one of the Shimada brothers who's also a cybernetic ninja. And Hanzo? Um, Hanzo hates everyone, including his brother, who tried to kill. Twice. The game has a great story that isn't necessarily in the game itself, but more so told through the cinematics, comics of it. But we're here to talk about toxicity. And boy does Overwatch have that. I try to be as nice as possible to people when I'm playing with them, but this one time this kid ticked me off. So I was playing with a couple of my friends during the offseason of competitive, which if you don't know, the offseason basically means nothing, so you won't be ranked or anything. Anyway, this one kid on our team was being really, really annoying, and I don't want to be rude to people, and I try to deal with it for a while. But I hit my limit. First of all, the kid was cussing up a storm, which, not gonna lie, it was pretty entertaining, but it got pretty goddamn annoying after a while. So about 10 minutes in the game, me and my friends were chatting about something for the settings. I honestly don't remember exactly what it was, but the kid ended up asking how to get into the settings. And before I had the chance to say anything stupid, my friend beat me to it and said, Press Alt F4. Alt F4? Oh god, he's gonna come back even more upset now. Nah, don't worry, I doubt he even knows how to boot up the game. You guys, I'm sure you think you're funny, but you're not. I'm gonna have my mom call your mom. Yeah, you probably get the general idea of toxic gaming and whatnot. But let's talk to a rad lad I know. Hey, what's up, bro? D. <laughs> get it, Brody? As in, like, bro, D is your name. Dingani. Yes. You know, it's going pretty good. Other than the fact that you have me in handcuffs, why am I in handcuffs, Dingani? Alright, well, I do have a perfectly reasonable explanation. I want you to play an online competitive video game. Ooh, like Mario Kart? What? No, that doesn't count. Besides, I'll beat you easily. Incorrect! Alright, choose from these games. Um, how about League of Legends? Alright, League it is. So, how'd it go, Brody? Remind me never to play League again. Brody? Where, 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 where are you going? Where did you get the jetpack from? Alright, um... One thing game developers have been trying to do lately is combat toxic online play by penalizing toxic players and rewarding the good ones, which has its own flaws. I don't really think toxicity in online gaming will ever go away. These games aren't focused on solo play with an engaging story and exploration. These games are focused on the meta, the objective, the victory, which doesn't make these games bad games at all. But they're gonna be more toxic. You don't hear people saying Paper Mario or Dead Cells has a toxic community, which I did a video on both of those games, you could like check it out. Because those games aren't online competitive focused games. Like Animal Crossing. Alright, I'm done with the stupid joke. Also, a Nintendo Direct just got announced as of recording this. So, if Animal Crossing gets announced, I'll make a video on Animal Crossing. Please get announced. I think online gaming has become so toxic because of the competition. Like anything, people get upset when they lose. And the fact that you're behind a screen with people you'll probably never see again in your life, it's easier to lash out against others. So even if you're mad, try to understand the people you're playing with are doing their best too. I mean, probably. Hey guys, it's Dingani, and thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much to Brody for sending in these amazing lines. He is a great dude. And you should totally check out his channel, because he's, uh, meme-tactless. fan you I... I don't know. You could, uh, check out my other videos. I think a card should pop up. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.